On Netflix, I caught The Forest from 2016. I'm always up for some cultural appropriation horror. So here we have an American woman named Sarah heading to Tokyo to find her twin sister who was last seen heading into the infamous suicide forest of Logan Paul. The film stars the gal from Game of Thrones whose face is, well, let's say unique. So unique that when people see her in Japan, they scream for their lives. Forest is from that brief period in time where the Game of Thrones cast sought to parlay their perceived appeal into becoming movie stars by putting on American accents and leading Hollywood roles. And look how that turned out. This chick has no personality whatsoever, but I do like how the editing reveals to the audience her lies regarding witnessing the death of her parents. Sarah is propelled by the magical twin bond. She just knows her sister is still alive, so she camps in the Sea of Trees, also the title of a similar film from half a year earlier. Sarah is too stubborn to turn back, despite the scary forest playing tricks on her, and before long, she doesn't know what is real or who she can trust. I like how this white knight journalist sees Sarah totally losing it, but gives her his knife, like that's gonna work out well for him. But one of the biggest issues is how Sarah is seeing illusions well before entering the forest. Am I wrong or does this diminish the mysterious power of this location? Or maybe the idea is supposed to be that Sarah is experiencing these because her twin is inside, but the filmmaker failed to do anything compelling with that. The forest looks like a legitimate theatrical release, which is getting to be a rarity, but it's far from clever or even memorable. It's too quick to throw generic characters into situations without giving the audience a reason to root for them, all the while offering them little to do but react to jump scares. Hell, Sarah even falls down a hole so she can look up and make you think of The Ring, a far superior movie. If you need a supernatural horror that leans on characters being dumb to propel the story, then by all means check out The Forest. I give The Forest 2 out of 4 stars. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the 8 minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.